One more question uh, about, um, well, I want to talk a little bit about diverse books and then I want to, I want to dig into to Be Real Macy Weaver. But sure. since you ran the Instagram uh, specifically around um, needing diverse books and I ask every publishing professional who comes on the show what they're doing, what their agency is doing um, to increase diversity in publishing, why not talk to uh, an author, Instagrammer, who's been watching the market as well? well? How do you feel publishing is doing about increasing diversity? Where are we at? How much further do we have to go? Or is the, the road ever onward? Um, you know, I think, I think looking at the numbers, looking at the facts is, um, is the best avenue to take. I mean, you know, people can tell you anything, right? Like right after, um, you know, the, you know, right after George Floyd was murdered in 2020 and there was this big movement in publishing about, you know, we're gonna do all of these things to open up doors for, um, for black writers. There were a lot of people saying it. And um, they were, you know, opening up their DMs and, I was one of those people that I was like, okay, if you're opening up the DMs, I'm going to get in there and, you know, see what's going on. And um, there were so many people where, like, you would get in their their inbox and just, you know, they were like, okay, you know, like, I let you in, but I'm going to be super general and then goodbye, you know? Like, so you sort of felt like um, whatever they were saying on their main was a little, like, performative. Um, but I will say, um, that's how I began my, my relationship with my, with my main editor, like the person, um, Kelsey Murphy, who has most of my, who purchased or acquired, um, most of my projects, like my fiction and nonfiction projects. She opened her DMs. I sent her the longest paragraph in the world it's like super embarrassing but I was just like hi blah 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 like I just gave her all this information too much information um and she was actually nice about it she was like okay you know and she was like okay this seems lovely blah 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 and like we talked about all these different things and then she was like yes like have your agent like reach out to me and so that began the conversation with us and she actually backed up what she said, you know, she was like, this, you know, it's my mission to do better. Um, and she, you know, she's super open to like a lot of different things that, that I want to work on, but the numbers, the numbers are not reflecting, um, equality in publishing, you know, like, I feel like, <laughs> I guess, you know, there's an article that just came out, right? Where like James Patterson is saying like, oh my gosh, like the white man is not getting published. It's a travesty and, and you know, it's all this is going on. And I'm like, no, you're still very much in the majority. Um, and so I think until we see the needle move a little more, I'll like really believe that the, that the doors are, um, are opening because I mean the door is cracked sure like the door is cracked I slipped into that crack but um I want to see the doors open and when I because really like if you walk into a bookstore now and you look on the shelves there's still there's still sections for the African-American interest books you know what I mean and so like the whole store it's full of white authors and, um, you know, books featuring white characters. But I want, I want to get to a day where I walk into the store and it's like, I mean, you're really seeing a mix. Like we don't even need, a, there's too many books for it to be a special interest bookshelf. So, yeah. Here, here. You know, I have disliked James Patterson since I read Cat and Mouse because I felt like he cheated 
uh, the mystery on that one. I was, um, this, this shames me to say it, but I, I liked the, the Alex Cross stories for a time, but that book, Cat and Mouse, where he did two first person perspectives, uh, there were detectives, Alex Cross gets injured at some point, And so he's out. And so we have the first person narrative from a detective who turns out to, spoiler, to be the killer. It's a first person narrative. And I threw the book and I was like, you knew the whole time it's a first person perspective. You can't do that, James Patterson. I'm done with you. And after his recent comments, I'm done with him forever. <laughs> I have never. Too strongly, almost hatred for, for <laughs> Patterson. You know, I was neutral before because like, I have never read a James Patterson book. So I, you know, I was neutral before, but now I'm just like, now you're giving me a reason to do it. Like now you're giving me a reason to frown at you. Cause that was just, it was so unnecessary to say, like, I don't know. But um, I do wonder about uh, him. And of course the other obvious example is JK Rowling. I wonder when these authors, they get so big that nobody can tell them no anymore. And, and their whole thing is you want to hear my perspective. You want to hear my <laughs> point of view. So I must be right. I, I can't figure out, like, J.K. Rowling in particular, it bothers me because she's had enough people push back against her now that you think it would just occur to her that, hey, maybe I don't have to say everything I think all the time. And we could just go back to making that Harry Potter money. But I no. don't think it affects her pockets. I don't think it affects her pockets. I don't think it affects her day-to-day -day life. I don't think it affects the big or small picture for her. And so she, she feels like I can say whatever I want. I mean... I think when you get on those levels and you're making so much money, like you're you're a machine. And so I think they're just able to get away with it. Um, I mean, if someone said, all right, if you say this, you like there's things I want to say at my job, like my actual day job, but I would not like to lose my job. So like I like there's certain things that you don't do or say at work. And I mean, not even like a bad thing. Like I would like to wear pajamas to work. It would be comfortable. I, you know, would probably be frowned at and it would be like, yeah, like don't come back to the classroom in pajamas again. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna dress up for work because I wanna keep my job. You know, it's gonna affect my money. I think when you get on her level, it just, she's still gonna be in her castle. So she doesn't <laughs> care. A quick life hack uh, my wife has discovered if you buy a nap dress is it a nice dress is it a nightgown that's eh, a little column a a little column b it's a little belt around it and then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nope that makes sense that, that that these people become an industry into it and of themselves um but at the same time, it bothers me with J.K. Rowling in particular because she touched my soul. Uh, with with yeah. she touched a lot of people's souls. We all loved Harry Potter. You know, you did esteemed audience. You're listening to a book about middle grade or a podcast about middle grade fiction. Probably there's a decent chance you liked at least one of those Potters. And I know that uh, I I feel like uh, we're all Luke Skywalker and she's Darth Vader now. Like we can sense the good <laughs> in you. There was there was something there. What happened? <laughs> I think I, I never, like, I would like to be successful at this, at this writing thing. I want to touch the hearts of readers, but I never want to get to a point or anyone that I know, anyone that I don't know. I don't want to ever get to a point where I'm so out of touch with reality that um, I can shut my phone off so that I don't see the tweets or the you know any of that and no one around me tell me that I'm wrong like when you don't have that you just you get really loose-lipped with what you say like I don't know I think you always need people around you to sort of check you like hey that's really ridiculous like let me tell you why like let me tell you why let me try to help you out and steer you in the right direction and does she have that? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because no one wants to be kicked out of the inner circle now because, you know, it's JK Rowling. So I don't, I don't think she, I think she has a lot of yes men and, and women 
around her. And that's it. Well, may that never happen to either of us, but may we get that readership because there is a way to get that readership <laughs> but without the uh, <laughs> without the downside. Exactly. <laughs>